YouTube. Uh, as you can see behind me, I'm visiting the Grand Canyon today. So I'll come up here to Hermit's Rest and I'm going to hike back down the trail and see how far I can get before I get too tired. Um, as you know, I started Buffalo at altitudes down in the below 300, I think, and I'm at 7,000. So yeah, I'm still getting used to less oxygen, but I got all day. So let's go take a look. So uh, down there is the Colorado River, and it's one of the few spots along here we'll be able to see it. I think there's some more down farther down here. But uh, it's about a mile down below me and uh, in elevation. And they tell me it's about 100 yards wide and in some spots 100 feet deep. So that little river down there did all of this. Of course, it flowed a little heavier at times in, uh, in the past in history, especially after the Ice Age when all that ice was melting and running down through here. But... Is uh, I think I mentioned earlier you, that uh, you know you all think uh, the uh, Grand Canyon is a big hole in the ground, which it is, but it's uh, goes through you saw relatively flat area that was heaved up when the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate hit and raised the Rockies up, but it didn't come up uh, like a lot of mountains folding. It came up flat which is why there's so many nice layers a pretty good spot actually to see some of the layers layer down there at the bottom is mostly granite uh, and then coming up big thick layer of sandstone which would have been laid down ancient beaches you know compressed uh, and then above that a layer of limestone when this was under a uh, ancient sea, of course that was before the uh, upheaval from the the, the uh, tectonic plates hitting together. So it's pretty impressive right here just to be able to see those different levels. One thing I have been seeing a lot of along the trail are elk pellets. You know, elk poop. There's more down here. There's another thing down there. And I'm seeing so much of it. I, uh, I gotta believe that somewhere over there, there's some elk bedded down. But, unless they jump up and scare the heck out of me, I probably won't even notice them. I'm sure if they're in there, they know I'm here. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. This pine right here, you see where the bark's burned, blown off? It goes all the way up. What that tells me is that that particular tree had been struck by lightning. Came down, blew the bark right off on its way down into the ground. So, so the uh, shuttle bus driver congratulated all of us on being the 5% of the visitors this year are here when there's snow. This is uh, 3rd of March. And uh, the storm came through this Saturday, came through on Tuesday, and dumped a bunch of snow. And uh, well, it's nice. It's up in the 50s here. It's actually warmer on the north rim. Uh, but that side's closed for the winter. So I don't mind seeing snow when it's in the 50s. So, uh, 
This little section of trail that I'm on right now was part of the original Hermit Road and it was constructed in 1911 to 1913. Uh, it was made for horse and buggies and cost a quarter of a million dollars, which was unheard of for that little short road. Uh, in 1919, uh, the Grand Canyon became a national park. This road opened for cars, was quickly overwhelmed. Uh, they repaved and widened it in the 20s. That still wasn't enough. So they did major reconstruction uh, during the depression, 34 to 35, and eliminated this particular section of road. The road is uh, uphill above us here. Okay, so a lot of the, the trail was like you just saw with the, uh, it's paved, it's coming down. There's a few miles of that, but then that ends and the rim trail becomes like this. And if it was drier, I'd be taking it, but it's a little bit icy in spots, a little bit muddy in spots, slippery in a lot of spots. So I decided it's okay. I'll just walk along the edge of the road. Less chance of me sliding in. Because I could do that. It's a nice little spot, a little pull off uh, on the road when you're allowed to have your personal vehicles up here. It's a nice spot to come up to. You can bike up here. Uh, nice little picnic spot right on the rim, about two tenths of a mile below the abyss and above Mojave Point. So, nice view down the river. So, okay, YouTube. Uh, that's the end of my visit to the Grand Canyon for this year. Uh, I was I took the uh, shuttle buses all the way up to Hermit's Rest and then I hiked back down about five miles to catch the return one. Went through a lot of different places that you'll have seen on the video. Um, most of the campgrounds were full up there. There's lots of snow. I decided to, to leave the park and get down to a lower elevation. And I got down here, found this uh, Cabab National Forest and it's a, I'm in a motorized restricted area so there's all kinds of uh, ATV trails and motorcycle trails and um, but I pulled up right here uh, next to the highway and I'm on 64 I'm headed back east uh, to head towards the four corners so um, or basically that's my view except I got here about 15 minutes before it got dark so um, next year Maybe I'll get up here a little bit earlier, or a little later in the year, a little bit warmer, camp up there, do a little bit more hiking around the Grand Canyon because there's lots of trails. So in any case, we're headed that way. See where this road takes us. Bye, YouTube.